Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Tina. It's time for a daily devotional. Today, we're going to read a passage of God's words about understanding the significance of focusing on God's new words. You know, what is the work that's recorded in the Bible compared to the work God is doing today? Which should we focus more on to gain the greatest value in our lives according to the work God is currently doing? So let's read God's words. Almighty God says, If you wish to see the work of the age of law and to see how the Israelites followed the way of Jehovah, then you must read the Old Testament. If you wish to understand the work of the age of grace, then you must read the New Testament. But how do you see the work of the last days? You must accept the leadership of the God of today and enter into the work of today. For this is the new work and no one has previously recorded it in the Bible. Today, God has become flesh and selected other chosen ones in China. God works in these people. He continues on from his work on earth and continues on from the work of the Age of Grace. The work of today is a path that man has never walked and a way that no one has ever seen. It is work that has never been done before. It is God's latest work on earth. Thus, work that has never been done before is not history, because now is now and has yet to become the past. People do not know that God has done greater, newer work on earth and outside of Israel, that it has already gone beyond the scope of Israel and beyond the foretelling of the prophets, that it is new and marvelous work outside of the prophecies, and newer work beyond Israel, and work that people can neither perceive nor imagine. How could the Bible contain explicit records of such work? Who could have recorded every single bit of today's work without omission in advance? Who could have recorded this mightier, wiser work that defies convention in that moldy old book? The work of today is not history, and as such, if you wish to walk the new path of today, then you must depart from the Bible. You must go beyond the books of prophecy or history in the Bible. Only then will you be able to walk the new path properly. And only then will you be able to enter into the new realm and the new work. You must understand why, today, you are asked not to read the Bible. Why there is another work that is separate from the Bible. Why God does not look for newer, more detailed practice in the Bible. And why there is instead mightier work outside of the Bible. This is all what you should understand. You must know the difference between the old and new work. And even though you do not read the Bible, you must be able to dissect it. If not, you will still worship the Bible. And it will be difficult for you to enter into the new work and undergo new changes. Since there is a higher way, why study that low, outdated way? Since there are newer utterances and newer work, why live amid old historical records? The new utterances can provide for you, which proves that this is the new work. The old records cannot sate you or satisfy your current needs, which proves that they are history and not the work of the here and now. The highest way is the newest work, and with the new work. No matter how high the way of the past, it is just history that people are looking back on. And no matter its value as reference, it is still the old way. Even though it is recorded in the holy book, the old way is history. Even though there is no record of it in the holy book, the new way is of the here and now. This way can save you, and this way can change you, for this is 
the work of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God's words make it very clear. Understanding what the Bible contains and what God's new words contains, which is the sealed book being opened. So God reveals, if you wish to know the work of the age of law, then read the Old Testament, right? If you want to understand the work that God did in the age of grace, read the New Testament. But how do you understand the work that God's doing today? Can you find that in the older New Testament? No, you can find prophecies that say God is coming to do work, but the details of that work is not written in the Bible. An example is when Jesus came. Were the details of his work written in the Old Testament? Absolutely not. So if people were to read the Old Testament after Jesus came, what were they going to gain about the new work Jesus did? Absolutely nothing, right? So after Jesus came and the New Testament was added to the Bible, people should have focused on the New Testament to enter into the current work that God was doing. It's the same today. God has returned to do the new work. So if we read the Old Testament or the New Testament, is it going to help us to understand the work that God is doing in the here and now today? Absolutely not, because the details of that work is not written in the Bible. God reveals the work of today is a path that man has never walked and a way that no one has ever seen. It is work that has never been done before, and it is God's latest work on earth. So this is the work God has come back to do, a new work, new words, and a new result that he's going to achieve. So the new work, it's not history, right? It's work that's currently being done because now is now and has yet to become the past. So God's words, you can see the wisdom in God's words and, and actually the direct expression within God's words of saying, you know, now is now and has yet to become the past. So we need to focus on the here and now, not the past. Now that God has returned, the Old Testament and the New Testament, they have become a record of history because there's new work. So today, people do not know that God has done greater, newer work on earth outside of Israel. And this has gone way beyond the scope of Israel, right? Gone beyond the foretelling of the prophets. It's a great work that God has doing. The work of the last days of the final cleansing work, the work of judgment beginning with the house of God. So who could have recorded this work in detail in advance? Nobody. Nobody could have recorded the details of the work God is doing today in advance. Just like nobody could record the work that Jesus did 2,000 years ago in advance. So the work of today is not history. And if you want to enter into the new work, then you need to step away from the Bible. And this is not saying to delimit the Bible. This is saying, as an example, if you want to know the current news, you're going to listen to or read the current news. If you want to know the news of the past, then you go back to the past and listen to that news. But God is doing the new work today, so we need to go beyond the Bible because God has come back and expressed over three million words outside of the Bible. And so those words have never been read by man before. So of course, we should enter into reading those new words and step away from the Bible. How long have we been reading the Bible? I know for me, I read the Bible for over 30 years of my life. Am I gonna learn anything new in it? I've read it quite a few times. And so today, reading God's new words, I gained so much from reading his new words compared to, you know, picking up the Bible and reading it. But God reveals too that we need to understand the Bible. We need to understand why we're asked not to read the Bible and why there is another work that is separate from the Bible and why God does not look for newer, more detailed practices in the Bible and why there is instead mightier work outside the Bible. So we need to understand this. We can't just delimit it without understanding it. That would be kind of foolish, right? So we need to understand why it's said that we should step away from the Bible and we, why we should read God's new words instead of reading that. It's because we need to know the difference between the old work and the new work, right? And even though we read the Bible, God reveals that we have to be able to dissect it, to understand the significance within it. 
And that's the great thing of God's words today too. He helps us to go into the Bible to understand the stories within the Bible about Abraham, about Moses, about Noah, about Job, about Peter. A lot of things in the Bible that we've never understood before of understanding the types of people that are approved by God, the types of people that are not approved by God. And so we need to be able to dissect it to understand the work that God did in the Bible. What was the main focus in the Old Testament? What was the main focus in the New Testament according to what God wanted to achieve within mankind as the progression of man and the battle that's going on with Satan? So for my understanding, we've taken the Bible a lot and we've tried to determine the future in the Bible. Just like the scribes and the Pharisees, they tried to determine what the Messiah would do when he came. And they were very wrong. And they end up kneeling Lord Jesus to the cross. And now today, what have we done? We've determined what God is going to do when he comes back. For example, that he's going to come to rapture us. That the only reason he's coming back is to take us to his kingdom. But God reveals today that there's a work he still needs to do, which is the work of judgment, beginning with the house of God. And this is all prophesied in the Bible, even the way the Lord returns about him coming first as the Son of Man in flesh, and then coming openly on the cloud. But we've made determinations that God is only coming on the cloud to come to take us to his kingdom. So our interpretations, we need to understand according to the work that God does, why God comes back the way he does in flesh and then on the cloud. So God reveals all these different mysteries in his new words so we can have the proper understanding according to what is reality, what will really take place. So these are the newer utterances that God has spoken, newer work. So why should we live amidst the old historical work? It just doesn't make sense, right? You don't want to live in the past. You need to live in the present. And that's what God is trying to tell us. Step away from the past and enter into the present. Why? Because this is the way that can save us. This is the way that can change us. And this is the current work of the Holy Spirit that God is doing today. Right? So I think it's a great thing that it's the highest way is the newest work. And God reveals that with the new work, no matter how high the way of the past, it's just history that people look back on. And no matter its value as, as reference, it's still the old way. No matter how you look at it, it will always be the old way because God has come to do a new work. So the old way is history. And it's important that we step into the current work God does today. So if you'd like to learn more about what work God is doing today, how he is doing the work of judgment beginning with the house of God, accepting the Lord's second coming, let me know and I'll be glad to get you into one of our sermons. And if you'd like to share anything on this passage of words, please feel free to do so. And I hope you understand the significance of you know, why God talks about why we're asked not to read the Bible, instead reading the new work of today. And that is a very important aspect. We should not take offense to that, but we should really try to understand it because God is only here to do the work of saving us. So that's all I have to share today. Um, we'll see you next time. God bless you and have a wonderful day. Bye.